everyone and welcome back. So in this vlog today, I wanted to talk to you all about staying motivated in your nursing course, in your nursing profession, if you're qualified, if you're a student, wherever you're working in healthcare. I wanted to do a vlog about staying motivated because I know some days are going to be really, really tough. You're going to maybe have a breakdown, you might go home crying because you've had a really, really bad day. You might wanna give up. We have all been there, trust me, I've been there too. And I just wanted to give some of my best tips to stay motivated and keep going and get yourself just in that right headspace again. And as always, a little disclaimer. So I just wanted to say that some of these tips might not work for you. It's about finding out actually what makes you happy, what keeps you motivated, what works for me might not work for you, what works for you might not work for me or anybody else. So it's just about finding out yourself, discovering yourself and keeping yourself motivated basically. Do more. So don't scream at me please. Don't shout at me. This might sound silly because this is a really tough course anyway. It's full on. You're barely gonna get time to do an assignment some days, some weeks, some months. But do you know what I find really, really motivating is doing more. And what I mean by that is doing extracurricular activities around university. So doing extra things like being involved in a society, being involved in volunteering at university or for a charity outside university, um, setting up cake sales and bake sales, doing things for charity like Snowden like I did, doing all of these extra things um, just really, really keeps you motivated. I found it, honest to God, the best thing for me was this because just doing those extra things with people that you love and enjoying yourself and socializing and I think that's the main thing of it is socializing with like-minded people so doing more of that and that really really it, I know it keeps me so motivated on this course by doing more it doesn't make sense I know but it works If you are that person that wakes up first thing in the morning, you've just about opened your eyes and you're thinking, oh, today is going to be a bad day, guaranteed you're going to have a bad day because you've woke up already thinking it, so therefore it's going to happen. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And I know it's, re it's so hard when you wake up and you think, oh, I'm really dreading going into placement. It's been a really bad day yesterday. I'm dreading going back today. It can be really hard to completely get rid of that thought. And it, it's really, really difficult, I think, to sort of challenge it and think more positive. But you need to try and just say, do you know what? Yesterday was a bad day. Today, I'm gonna make it an amazing day. Stand up, do your power pose and just say, do you know what? Today's gonna to be a great day. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday, today's gonna to be an amazing day. I've got an amazing team, let's do this. And just really get your head in that headspace of thinking, do you know what? It's gonna be a good day. And fingers crossed, it's gonna be a good day. Make sure you stay organized. If you are one of these people that aren't organized, you don't prioritize your workload, please, please, please start being really organized because I find this really, really motivates me. If I'm organized, I've got everything ready. I'm like, yes, I've got everything ready. I've, I'm organized. Yes, I'm motivated. Let's go. But as soon as everything goes to pot, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, no, this isn't happening. And I start stressing and panicking, which is rare, but it happens. It really does happen. But I know that when I stay organized and prioritizing, I know what I'm doing. I know when I'm doing it that's it, the motivation is there to get it done, if that makes sense. And this is just a really good tip, I think, that I'm gonna throw in there. Hopefully it's gonna help you. Hopefully you're organized and you're doing amazing, so you won't need this one. But yeah, have a think about that. Show yourself some self-love. Now we're so busy caring for other people, volunteering, so busy caring and loving all of our patients and our colleagues and making sure everyone else's health and well-being is right we forget about ourselves and we ne neglect ourselves so much throughout this course throughout nursing life it's really really important that you show yourself some love treat yourself once in a while and get that motivation back have a night out with your friends have a meal ha treat yourself to a new pair of trainers a new shoes new top that isn't health related completely for you and only you. Be selfish for that one moment in time and get yourself motivated again. 
And last but not least, the I think one of the things that really motivates me, and I've done this a few times when I felt really deflated, if nothing's working for you, you know, you've bought yourself a new top, you've gone out with friends, you've done all of these things, and you're still feeling deflated, you need to give yourself a pep talk. You need to really kick yourself up the butt and you need to say, do you know what? This is why I came into nursing. Just remind yourself why you came into nursing, why you wanted to be a nurse, what was it that you wanted to gain from this? What did you, what complete reason did you wanna come? Because it's not gonna be a selfish reason because it's not for the money. It's gonna be because you wanna help other people. You wanna make a difference in someone else's life. You wanna make a change to somebody else's life. You wanna make somebody else's life better because that makes you feel good inside. Just whatever your reason is for coming into this profession, just remind yourself of that and think, do you know what? I've come so far. Look at how far I've come. Look at everything I've achieved. Look at all of the failures that I've overcome in the end, whether it's a, a failure, fail in an exam maybe, whether you've made a slight mistake, but then you've corrected it all and you've overcome it and you're standing here today, still here today. Just remind yourself of how amazing you are, how far you've come and actually look to the future and look to, if you're a student nurse, look to qualifying, how you're gonna feel putting on your blues and your first day as a qualified nurse and someone says, nurse, and that is you, and you finally got that moment, you're a qualified nurse, you're a staff nurse, you're a community nurse, you're a band five, band six, band seven, band eight, whatever point you get up to, just see that goal, see that end goal, and just remind yourself that actually people need us. It's not a selfish profession because you can't be selfish in this profession. We are here to help other people. We are here to love and care for our patients and make their lives better and make a difference to them. And that above all just really motivates me and I remind myself that constantly when I feel down or if I feel really deflated after a bad shift I remind myself of actually that moment and why I came into nursing and how long it's taken me and just seeing the future and the end goal and just thinking oh my god yes I've got six months left now let's do this and it, it honestly it just makes my day and it should make your day and it should get you motivated again and just actually make you realize do you know what I can do this and speaking about motivation and remembering where you came from and the journey, this is a really good way to do it. Just having pictures of your journey through nursing, your friends, your family, all of that on a montage, some sort of collage, or if you haven't got a wall spare, get a scrapbook or something like that and put it all into a scrapbook, something that you can physically see and visualize and just make you remember how amazing you've done and how amazing this journey has been for you. And that's just gonna keep you right on track, I think. I know it really, really does with me. And always remember, if you really are struggling, you're really deflated, you can't get going, please speak to someone, don't struggle alone, and just make sure you have that open conversation with someone and maybe they can get you motivated again. But if you really, really are struggling, please talk to somebody, don't suffer alone. So that's it from me. I hope you all have an amazing week and I shall see you next time.